Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly channel. My name is John, and today I'm gonna to help you assemble your portable strong arm basketball system with a 50 inch polycarbonate backboard. Before we get started, make sure the model number of your basketball system is listed in the description below. This video will follow the steps outlined in the assembly manual that comes with the system, but if you've already begun and need help on a specific step, check the description below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's take a look at what comes inside the box. There are steps within this assembly that require two people, so be sure to have at least one other adult available to help. Before we get into the assembly process, let's take a look at the tools you'll need to complete the job. You'll need two three quarter inch wrenches, two half inch wrenches, two nine sixteenths wrenches, two seven sixteenths wrenches, a five eighths wrench, a three eighths wrench, two three sixteenths Allen keys, which are included, a Phillips head screwdriver, pliers, safety glasses, and a block. To make this easier, we're going to use a socket set, a 3 16 hex head socket, a Phillips head bit, a socket adapter, and a drill. You may see us use an impact driver. If you decide to use one as well, be sure not to over torque or over tighten the hardware. Depending on how you decide to fill the base of your system, you'll also need a hose connected to a water source or a funnel and 310 pounds of sand. This video is meant to be used as a companion to the assembly manual and not a direct replacement. So for the best results, make sure to have the assembly manual on hand during the build. It's also crucial that you refer to the assembly manual to review the safety instructions for this build to prevent serious injury or property damage. All right, let's get started. Thread the Gemna all the way down the threaded pin. Then add the coupler onto the threaded pin. Using a 5 8 and 9 16 wrench, tighten the coupler all the way against the jam nut. Take the middle pole, which is the pole with the warning label, and attach the pole bracket to these holes oriented like this. Slide the top pole, which is the shortest of the three poles, onto the top of the middle pole, making sure the hole at the bottom of the top pole goes over this slot at the top of the middle pole. Add the hardware into the hole. It's normal if it still spins freely. Repeat the previous step, adding the bottom pole to the bottom of the middle pole. Make sure you've done the previous steps properly because the next step is irreversible. We're going to seat the poles together by striking each end on a piece of scrap wood or cardboard five or six times. You're going to need to use some force, so be careful not to hit your toes. Also, keep in mind where this bracket is so you don't hit yourself. It's crucial that you complete this step, otherwise your poles could become separated during use, causing serious injury or property damage. 
If you realize you've added the poles in the wrong order, click on this link here to see a video on how to separate your poles. Attach the flat end of the pole brace to the base, making sure the angled end is oriented like this. Only finger tighten this hardware for now. Orient the pole like this with the bracket facing up and then insert the long axle into the bottom hole. Add a wheel to each side of the long axle, followed by your spacers. Then add the short axle to the hole above the long axle. Lay the base over the long axle, making sure it goes into these notches. Step on the base and apply downward pressure until you hear the long axle click into place. Lift the pole assembly up until the small axle rests into these notches on the base. While someone holds the pole, secure the pole braces to the pole through these holes. Lay the system on the ground and don't stand it back up until you have proper weight in the base. Now you can tighten the hardware at the other end of the pole braces. Insert the U-bolt into these holes on the backboard brackets, making sure it's oriented like this. Add the hardware to this hole directly below the larger hole on the backboard brackets, only finger tighten the hardware for now. Add the hardware to the hole labeled number one, making sure you add the spring to the spacer. Insert the hardware into the oblong holes on the rim, making sure they're oriented like this. Using a pair of pliers to hold the T-nut in place, tighten the hardware but only enough so that the rubber washer doesn't bulge. Also make sure that the hardware is on the outside edge of the hole as you tighten. Place the rim support channel in this notch on the back of the backboard making sure it's oriented like this. Then place the U-bolt with the backboard brackets into these holes. Place the rim on the front of the backboard, making sure the hardware goes through the backboard, the rim support bracket, and the backboard brackets.
Thread the jam nuts all the way down the threads on the U-bolt. Add your compression springs, your retainer plate, and secure with the nuts. Tighten this hardware, but only enough so that the rim doesn't wobble. Bend the backboard brackets over until the top hole lines up with this hole on the backboard. Now you can tighten the hardware on the backboard bracket. Attach the short extension arms to these holes on the backboard brackets, and if it's hard to push the bolt through the holes, go ahead and use the threads on the bolt to remount the excess powder coating on the holes. When attaching the short extension arms, make sure the two holes that are close together are away from the backboard. Only finger tighten this hardware for now. Connect the long extension arms to these holes on the backboard bracket. Make sure that the spring is oriented like this and that the two holes that are close together on the long extension arm are away from the backboard. Connect the short extension arms to the hole at the top of the pole, making sure to go through the hole at the end of the short extension arm. Connect the long extension arm to these holes on the pole, making sure to go through this hole on the long extension arm. It may be helpful to have someone lift the base up to get the holes to line up. With the lifter arm oriented like this, connect this end of the lifter arm to these holes on the long extension arms. Now you can add the handle grip to the end of the lifter arm. Insert the spacer into the plastic locking cam and then attach it to the pole bracket, making sure it's oriented like this.
add the hardware to this hole on the short extension arms. Now that this hardware is in, go ahead and tighten all the hardware on the extension arms. When tightening this hardware, make sure you only tighten enough so that the end of the bolt is flush with the nut. With the closed end of a wrench, lift the spring onto this hardware we just added. Now go ahead and remove the plastic film from the backboard. The next few steps, we'll go over how to fill the base of your system. So refer to your manual in section six to see how to do this. Or you can also click on this link here to see a video on how to do this. We've already filled the base of this system, so we're going to move on to the next steps. Now go ahead and add the net to the rim. The height of the system can be adjusted from 8 feet to 10 feet in half foot increments. To adjust the system, rotate the locking cam up. Pull the lifter arm out away from the locking pin and adjust it to your desired height. Make sure the locking pin goes into one of the holes on the lifter arm and then return the locking cam to this position. With the system at its highest position, add the sticker to the lifter arm, making sure the 10 foot mark lines up with the point on the locking cam. Thank you for watching this video on how to assemble your lifetime portable strong arm basketball system with a 50 inch polycarbonate backboard. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.